What's up YouTube, it's your boy Douglas Sam. Today I'll be unboxing my Epson Expression XP630 or better known as Epson XP630. Um, you know, this is an all-in-one um, wireless printer. Um, I got it on Amazon, I think it was 99 bucks free shipping. Um, I just got it two weeks ago. Um, uh, I'm coming from a Canon MG7520. Um, I bought that at this same time, 2015. It's, two, it's January 2016. I bought the Canon in 2015, and um, although the Canon was fine, picture quality was absolutely great. Um, it's just wireless functionality was just horrible. It just wasn't responding how um, a wireless printer should um, in you know 2015-16. So anyway, let's go ahead and open this up and see what we got. Wow, this print is pretty straightforward. There's not much to unbox, but let's let's continue. Just a quick warning. On both sides of these, look on them because they had three inks on one side and two on the other. So you gotta look at both sides for ink. I was like already I miss ink, but I didn't miss ink. They they hit they put three on one side and two on the other side of these um of the the you know the support of the uh, printer and this is the well anyway I just wanted to show you that real quick because some of you would go into a panic anyway so this is your um, you know your CD with your drivers and the rest of the programs that you'll need and um, I guess this is starter manual behind it um, showing you a quick way to set everything up and by the way, guys, I have Windows 10, so if it, I'm sure it will work for that. Um, anyway, this is uh, your power cord. I'll unravel it. It's a breakaway. It's fairly long. It's a little longer than average. <laughs> there it goes. Looks like an Xbox One. <laughs> it's small, guys. It's... It, it's it's a pretty compact printer, which that's that's one of the reasons why I got it. Um, nice. Doesn't look like a fingerprint magnet, which is good. First, I've seen a black finish that doesn't take my fingerprint. That's 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 a breath of fresh air. I'm gonna swing to the back for a sec. Um, let's see where our there's any plugs back here that I okay I think I see it right here is that it okay so right here is where you're gonna put your plug right here is where you're gonna put your printer cable if you're going to use one this breaks away and does something so let's find out what that something is this comes out not quite sure why it needs to come out, but I can dig it. And just put it back in. And by the way, guys, this is an unboxing. I am not going to turn on this printer on this review. I mean, on this unboxing, I will do a follow-up review, which I will be going over the functionality of this printer. This is just an unboxing. Say it with me, guys. Unboxing. All right, let's see. Okay, I could open that like that. Pull that out. Okay. Cool. Let's see that. See? I was pulling those out. Let's get the tape off of that. So, I'm assuming this is probably for, let me see, hmm, I see Chinese writing on it. Well, this is cassette tray one, and I'm thinking this is probably for your pictures, your four by sixes and maybe five by sevens. Yep, that's what exactly what it's for. Okay. 
and this I assume would be for your paper, right? You widen it out, right? That's what I usually have to do. And what's on the bottom here? Something on the bottom of this tray. Let me take the tape off. Oh, CD tray. So this is your CD and DVD tray, and it, I guess it hides in this little pouch thingy right here. It's a little con compartment. Yeah. Cool. Let's go ahead and attempt to put it back. <laughs> okay. And. Okay. All right, boom. Okay. Cool. So, this is your memory card reader. This is your, you have a front USB, which is all awesome. Um, on and off. This is a 2.7 um, uh, uh, touch, touch screen. Sorry, I was going to say touch tone. Sorry, touch screen. Um, you know, these are your, your buttons right there. Pretty cool, pretty cool guys. Let me see something here. I'm willing to bet. If I plop that out and I take the CD tray out, I'm willing to bet that if I, can you see that? Yeah, if I slid it in here, here we go. And that's probably why you can plop out the back so that can come fully out, I'm assuming. I could be wrong. I'll find out when I, you know, power it on. I don't know now because I haven't done that yet. Let's look at the scan bed or whatever. Can we see anything on it? Nothing too fancy. All right, this is your ink, guys. Now, um, this ink right now, as of January of 2016, and guys, I know I've done a lot of printer video videos. Um, in the past, I know this printer is going to be less than a hundred dollars eventually. Um, and what I'm about to tell you about the printer ink is going to change, but I'm talking about as of January of 2016. So if we're in 2017 or 18 or 19, obviously this does not apply. Okay. I'm talking about now and I'll probably have a new printer by then. Anyway, so right now, um, you can't really get uh, the knockoff pr ink, printer ink on eBay and Amazon is not that cheap for this printer as of January of 2016. I saw it uh, for about $30 for a set, which is about 15 to 10 to $15 more than other Epsons and Canons and um, brother printers that I've had experience with um, that you can get knockoff ink. And when I say knockoff ink, I mean not refill ink. I'm just talking about ink cartridges like this. It's just not Epson brand. It's, I don't know, whoever made from China. So in my experience, I was able to get ink from, from 12, a full set of whether five or six cartridges, depending on the printer, from $12 to about $18. Well, this one's about 32 bucks right now. So just keep that in mind. Um, if that's a big, if you're used to getting ink for 12 and 15 dollars you might want to hold off until that changes i don't know when that is going to change that's not a big deal for me but i just want to throw that out here let's take a quick uh, closer look at the ink cartridges um i'll take one I get this is probably black let me take it off and let you see how it looks i just took one off so you can see so it's a 410i some of you guys want probably have that question is what it looks like I guess I have to pop off this top so I popped it off probably shouldn't have did that because I don't know when I'm gonna hook it up either today or tomorrow I have a couple more unboxings to do on stuff I just bought I just went on a crazy binge <laughs> anyway so that's what the ink lo looks like guys so let's see where the ink goes on this print I've yet to find that out so let's figure that out I bet I know where it is the one thing that I didn't do ha 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 there we go. So I assume it's right there. Let's go ahead and 
take this off. Yep. There it is right there. That's where the ink goes. So you close the scan bed and you open it up from either side. You can open up from this side or this side. Just open it up and boom, that's where it goes. Well, since I'm here, let me load them in. Yellow. Kind of got to get used to putting these cartridges in. It's a weird way. Remember to take this piece off. I didn't show you, so you just take it off like that. And so this is here. So I think you tilt it down this way first and then press down. If you try it any other way, it will feel really awkward. So down towards there first, then press down that way. So as you can see, this has two blacks. One here, one here. Question you might be thinking is, can this print if if a color is uh, running out, can you print just black is what you might be asking. And answer, oh, I got the wrong one. The answer is, I don't know. I don't know that answer. And stay tuned to my, stay tuned to my review, for my review. Um, and I will have the answer to that as I dig into this printer and find out. Because some printers can do that and some printers don't. Some Epsons do that. Some I've had Epsons that you could do that and I have Epsons that you can't. So it's just time will tell. Stay tuned for that. All right, so let me close that back. Is there any other thing I gotta remove here? No. Okay, so I got that situated. All right, and that's pretty much gonna conclude my video pretty much um, I don't know much more about the printer to tell you but so it looks like in the front I'll show you the bottom my cord is plenty long so that that's a plus Oh, and as a bonus, I'll show you this. So, it says this, this uh, the drivers and every, well, this printer is compatible with Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows Vista, XP. Um, yeah. So, you're pretty much covered. So, out the box, no matter what you have, this, you don't have to go on any website or whatever. This, this CD should take care of you because the latest out is Windows 10 for at least for the next couple years. All right, guys, I did say I wasn't going to turn it on, but uh, I'm going to plug it in so both, so all of us can see how it does when it turns on for the first time. So I've just plugged it in. I'm just going to hit power and see what happens. So we can see it together. Oh, it says... Uh, English. Let me zoom a little closer. I'm gonna assume I hit OK. I guess it's looking at my ink, I suppose. Do not open. Okay. And so that's pretty much going to conclude um, my video. I won't go past 15 minutes. Um, hit like if, if you like it. Remember to subscribe. Um, if anything, thanks for just even looking at my video. Um, hit me up with any questions that you may have or anything I might have left out on the video so my reviewers can see and um, learn from that as well as me as well. Um, and uh, like I said, that's pretty much it. And... Uh, Oh, most importantly, stay tuned for my review of this um, printer where I go over all the functions and what it can do and how fast it can do it and my overall impressions. Thanks for viewing.